All right, so today I'm back with yet another chapter review, and today we will go over chapter 277, which is going to be something really special, as we will see both Noah and Loki showing off some of their incredible skills, mostly Loki, who's just insane in this chapter, but that's not all, as we will also see the rat Igarashi do a wonder play, which is something that I can guarantee that you wouldn't want to miss, so sit back and watch to find out what happens, because it's really insane. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking, and let's get right into the chapter. However, before that, please double check that you are subscribed to the channel, as there's 83% of people who watch my video who aren't subscribed yet. So if you could fix that by going down and subscribing to the channel, that would be awesome. And while you're already down there, you can always leave a like and a comment as well as join the Discord server. And with that out of the way, let's finally get into it. So for chapter 277, also called Genius and Prodigy, we get the small text in the beginning, which goes as follows. Through the monitors, the fate of the egoists is etched here. And then we get right into it by seeing Ego sitting in his chair while closely analyzing the Bastard vs. PXG game. He says that Rinitoshi has now lit a fire in the final match. We then get a close-up of Ego, and it feels like it's been decades since we last saw him, but I'm glad to finally see him eating his noodles as always. He's also got some company from Henri, who says that she can't believe that Julian Loki actually wants to take the field as he hasn't played once up until now also saying that their viewers just spiked, telling Ego that they are the number one trending topic on social media worldwide, which is just crazy. Ego, who's finished his noodles and is currently slurping the juice, says that it's the herd mentality and that the world just wants to witness a hero and geniuses attract one another. He puts his noodle cup down as he says that at the hottest place in the world, they're about to see an incredible finale. But then, out of nowhere, his mood switches into a much more sinister vibe as he says not to be misjudged and to not fly too high, looking at his players and telling them not to dare try and become geniuses, and also calls them his little prodigies, which is quite sweet. Anyway, after that, we get to Isagi, who's actually burning up with a mix of rage but also determination to stop Rin to whatever the prize may be. After that, we see Loki, and the commentators review what has just happened, as they say, that PXG has swapped out their defender Gabin, and swapped in their master Loki, saying that this is an ultra-specialized finisher attack formation. However, on the other side, Bastard Munchen has swapped out two players. Those are Rensuke Kunigami and Ranse Kurona to replace those heaters. We have Master Noah. And for some reason, the rat himself, Gurimu Igarashi, just looking at him makes me mad to be fully honest. However, that's not all, as they say, regarding the contact play during the goal attempt and for tackling a player after the ball had been kicked. Yoichi Asagi has been given a yellow card, forcing him to be a lot more careful in his plays. However, in his mind, he just tells the commentators to shut the hell up, which is so like him. While he's walking around on the field, he thinks back to what Rin said to him, about him having a duty to try and kill Rin until the very end. He then looks back at Rin, who's also walking. As he has his eyes on Rin's back, he tells him to bite Isagi and calls him a freak, telling him that he isn't some stepping stone for Rin's evolution. He finally looks pumped up to the max as he thinks that his life doesn't exist to serve Rin's. After that, we get a look at the spectators who are going crazy while watching. However, they aren't relevant as we see Asagi's true and first fan watching the game, who has a kind of worried expression on his face as he sends his prayers to Asagi. And then the commentators say that the next point will be the last goal, which determines the game, wondering what kind of finale they will witness during the Masters' three minutes of the star change system, with the score being tied 2-2 in the final match of the Neo Egoist League. The whole world is watching as this last battle starts. After that, we get this insane panel of the restart of the match, and Noah passing the ball to the fired Isagi, who says that he will win with his own goal. Now as I said, Isagi has the ball and Noah on his side. Going up to contest them, we have Shidu who's standing before them and watching for their move. Isagi and Noah look at each other, and Isagi says that as he has Noah here for these three minutes, he will prove to everyone that he is a genius too, which was the exact same thing Ego told them not to do, so not to be that guy. But I have a feeling that it's not going to go the way Isagi has it planned to go. Anyway, Isagi sends away his pass to Noah, who traps it with his right leg, and after that, Isagi sneaks behind Shidu while saying that the level of play right now is undeniably world class and that the adaptability genius Yoichi Isagi is going to control the field. As he says that Noah sends the ball back, and Isagi makes a little jump as he traps it. 
we can also see that his puzzle pieces are starting to really get active around him. But out of nowhere, it's like a lightning came across Isagi and stole the ball leaving him speechless. Before looking to his right, where we see the Wonder Child and PXG's master, Julian Loki, who was able to just simply sweep away the ball from Isagi, Loki still has lightning coming off him, as he calls Isagi's trap weak and way too slow. He gets a dark aura and feel to him as he looks back to Isagi and tells him that the slow ones die first and calls it the law of nature. Isagi still hasn't grasped what happened and looks at Loki in shock. Now that Loki has the ball, he's faced with both Raichi and Hiyori before him, but he simply just says okay and that it's time to blast off. And blast off, he definitely does as he uses his ability called God Warp to completely blitz through Raichi and Hiyori, who wasn't even able to react. Raichi who's looking back can't believe how fast Loki is. And Hiyori who's also totally amazed says that his stride is completely nuts. Even Isagi jumps in here as he asks if Loki is even real. Loki gets behind another player which looks like Kiora, but Isagi is watching this and says that thinking and logic are meaningless here. No matter how much he tries to get stronger bit by bit, this is the abuse of physical talent. Loki's insane pure speed. The defenders of Bastard Munchen quickly realize that going one on one with Loki will never work and say that they need at least two guys on him. But just as Loki reaches them, he passes to his side where the beast and monster lie. And I'm of course talking about Rin. Rin gets the ball, and Loki tells him that he can have the last point and calls him Tongue Monster San while also sticking his tongue out. Rin, who also of course has his tongue out, calls Loki a patronizing master. Isagi, who's looking at this closely, wonders if it's over already and that in just one play, Loki was able to break through their whole team, and now Rin is basically free to score. He looks dumbfounded as he thinks that it might already be over, he starts saying that they are going to lose. But before he can finish his sentence, an unexpected player makes his appearance, and I hate to say it, but it's none other than Gurumu Igarashi, who comes and is actually right by Rin. He takes his hand on Rin's chest to try and stop him from going further. He looks at the ball and says, Hail the three treasures as he goes to steal away the ball. Rin looks at him with a furious facial expression and asks him what his deal is before slamming his entire body into Igarashi who almost flies up into the sky before landing right on his face, which I just know hurts like hell. However, just then, the announcer goes off, which shocks Rin as they say that Itoshi Rin made a foul. Rin can't believe it, and Isagi, who's rushing over there, compliments the rat's awesome ability. Igarashi, who gets up from the ground, just looks back with burning eyes as he says that it's his secret technique, the genius killer Malicia. And wow, this chapter was insane, so let's go over it right away. First, I just actually love seeing Ego and Henri back again, even if it was for like two or three panels and just a quick conversation. I really miss the old times when we used to see Ego almost all the time, and I know that he will get his spotlight back after this arc. It's natural for him not to be as included as it's the master's job to guide the teams now, but I still just miss that bowl cut. Now it was cool seeing Noah and Isagi work together once again, as I could feel something big starting to heat up. However, we can't forget about Kaiser, who's definitely somewhere lurking for his chance, and I wouldn't put it past Noah to ally himself with Kaiser more, if he has a better position or something, because it's not about favoritism, but about winning this game. Next up we have to talk about the speed demon Julian Loki, who just came and stole away the ball like it was nothing. And actually, I have no idea what they're going to do to stop him as his speed, it's just simply impossible to match. But luckily Bastard Munchen is in control of the ball now, so it's for them not to lose it. And you guys know more than anyone that I love to clown on Igarashi, but I have to be the bigger person, and actually say that he clutched up big time here. If it weren't for his disgusting but good ability, I don't know if the match would still be going on, so this time, I will acknowledge Igarashi for his efforts. Anyway, yeah, this is just my thoughts on it, and please leave your thoughts and theories down in the comments, as I love reading them. If you like Blue Lock and videos like this, then I would highly suggest you subscribe to this channel, and while you are at it, leave a comment and a like, as it helps out with the algorithm a ton. And if you are curious to see another video of mine, then please watch the video that will be popping up on the screen now. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.